This is code.org, and we're going to investigate and modify. Let me shrink this. Run the program. Oh, okay. Let me not shrink this. Ooh, ah, paint in black and white. Cool. Okay. Then experiment with the program, making the following modifications. Change one line at a time, then run the program after each change to observe the results. That makes sense to me. It looks like we're going to look at make sepia method, uh, sepia image class. So like the black and whitish. Oh, sepia. Okay. No, it's brown, right? It looks like an old Western photo. What do you notice about the code? Where do you think the values used to create the new red, green, and blue values come from? Uh, okay, so what do I notice? The current pixel get red, current pixel get green, current pixel get blue, and then new red, new green, new blue. Well, it's the current color, so however much the current pixel, and notice this, these uh, nested for loops, right? So we're looping through every row of the image and every column. So we go through every tiny little pixel. We grab the pixel, assign it to current pixel. We then get how much red it contains, how much green it contains, how much blue it contains, and we assign it here. And then we multiply that value by a 0 0.3 or by whatever value they want. It looks like that these are likely a double and we want it to be an integer. So we're casting it after we multiply all these together to get the new amount of red. And the new amount of red, oh, interesting. We also take in how much green and blue. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so it's coming from the previous color and then modified. Try modifying these values and then run the program. What does it change? What values? These values or these? Um, I mean, we can get green twice. Let's do that real quick. Huh. What if we do all green? Eh, not, not a huge... I should say I'm red-green colorblind, so this one's going to be a bit difficult for me. All right, but what if we change these up? Uh, one, you know, minor details there. Two and, I don't know, three. Boom. Whoa, that changes a lot. Okay. Try modifying the values. How does it change? Well, it changes, obviously, the, uh, the color. Uh, that's, that's what would be changing there. What happens if you set each color value to the same? Okay. Mm, let's do get red for all these. <laughs> or let's do this. What if by the same they mean, I don't know, two? And then I go comment out the rest just to test two and two. Let's see what that does. Yeah, it blacks it all out because all colors equal. Cool. Okay, well, I'm really excited to see what we're actually going to be doing with this. Let's see. The original values you saw were actually values from Sepia Tone that are recommended by Microsoft. You can read more. Meh, that's okay. All right. I'm excited to see where we're taking this. Onward.